Honourable Chef Member. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question to the Minister of the Pan Am Games. Minister, yesterday we had a late show sitting following my dissatisfaction with your answer to the question I asked regarding the Pan Am Games Transit Plan's budget. All I've been looking for was a simple answer. A ballpark figure at the very least of how much the taxpayer will fork over for the Pan Am Games Transit Plan. I do not think that that was an unreasonable request. So you rose yesterday and talked about the cost of the Athletes Village and expansion of Ontario's trail networks, but again made no mention of any costs associated with the, tra the Transit Plan. Minister, the Games are less than two years away. Can you tell me right now, what is the budget for the Pan Am Games Transit Plan? Thank you, Minister responsible for the Pan Am Games. Thank you, Speaker. I believe the uh, member opposite had uh, uh, Minister Murray and his deputy were answering these questions in estimate committee yesterday or day before. Speaker, it's truly really unfortunate that he cannot comprehend the fact that where we are in the planning stages now is completely normal. The transportation costs are continuously evolving. We have a game footprint that is over 10,000 kilometer square. Order. The host municipality who coordinate and come to agreement with the game are an unprecedented event. Order. And we have never experienced anything on this scale. Speaker. It cannot be compared Answer. to your business plan if you cannot understand and we will not acknowledge those facts. Then I really feel sorry for you. Thank, thank you. you Supplementary. Thank, thank you, Speaker. Minister, what I can't comprehend right now is the fact that the Minister of Transportation announced the budget in Estimates Committee, yet at 6 o'clock after the Ministry announced the 70 to $90 million budget, Absolutely. you still could not answer the question of how much was in the budget. I find the lack of communication, Mr. Speaker, between the two ministries on this multi-million dollar project very disturbing. Minister, throughout this Pan Am fiasco, you've overseen cost overruns, secret budgets, and a well-paid executive team that nickels and dimes to taxpayers by expensing for coffee and donuts. So it doesn't surprise me when you said yesterday that the opposition's line of questioning on the matter was ignorant, disrespectful, and damaging. Well, as a member of the only party here that stands up for the taxpayer, I find your aversion to transparency ignorant disrespectful and damaging. Minister, will you apologize to the constituents of my riding and all Ontarians for your complete mismanagement of this file? Senator, please. Senator, please. Thank you. Minister. I knew the uh, party opposite had a reading problem. We now know they have a comprehension deficit. Oh! Mr. Speaker, they asked for the information. The member for Barry got it. I went out of my way. We, I, my office personally phoned him, as did Minister Chan, to offer a technical briefing. We've kept you in the loop. What's it? You know, Mr. Speaker, I was the host mayor of the last Pan Am Games. In Manitoba, people were excited. You have been an embarrassment to the people of Ontario. You have shamed us in front of the world. You protest like children in front of international conferences. You are diminishing the work of volunteers. You are diminishing the work of athletes. You are shameful in your partisan ignorance you brought to it. You don't even understand.